First off, I'd like to thank you for coming out, joining us today for concussion management. My name is Dr. Charles Webb. I work at OHSU. I want to say thank you to Rex for hosting us and putting together the PACE, which is protecting athletes from concussion through education. And I just want to say thanks to Mr. Fouts for coming out and helping us. Impact. So our impact testing, which most of the athletes here have done, are here to get our baseline test. Dix has partnered up with PACE to make it a million baseline tests is what we're hoping to get throughout the course of the year. What that does is that teaches the athletes, the coaches, parents about what the implications of concussion are as you go on and play the great sport of football, but also not to mention our soccer, basketball, and other sports out there that have a risk of concussion. I work at OHSU. I help run the sports medicine program out there. My job's the education side of that. I run a primary care sports medicine fellowship where I teach athletes sports medicine. I teach doctors how to do what I do. So I cover high schools. We cover about 500 athletes a week that come through our clinics out at OHSU. I personally take care of a high school here in town as well as Portland State University and Lewis and Clark College where I take care of their football players as well as all the other athletes. Okay, with that, I would like to introduce Mr. Fouts, who is a past star for the San Diego Chargers, NFL quarterback, has had a few concussions, and actually one of my heroes. So I'm actually very happy to finally get to meet you. I remember watching you play on TV on Sunday. So, thank you, sir. concussions in a single season, we don't really have that firm answer either, and each individual provider will weigh it based on the severity, how long did it take the athlete to recover. I typically draw my line at three. You get three, and I'm talking even mild concussions. You have a headache today, it's gone tomorrow, I'll get you back in six, seven days later after the return to play, gradually, graduating return to play criteria, then I'm going to turn around and I'm, and I'm still going to pull the cord out of three. Um, with this test, what can, it, what can it solve, what can it help, what's, what's it going to do? Well, what this test does is it really keeps me from turning someone to play before they're ready. This test really picks out the subtle differences in brain activity really function. So when I have an athlete that comes in and he tells me the symptom score is called this year, but I make him fill out the score on the computer, and all of a sudden the symptom score might be pretty low. <laughs> Equipment 
more importantly, not knowing uh, that we probably weren't as healthy as we should have been when we went back to play because you can't avoid that first concussion, but maybe on the second one or the third one, you're more healthy than, than you were before. And that's what this whole uh, PACE program is about. This is why I'm here. Uh, Dick Sporting Good is, is really uh, stepping forward in the, uh, not the prevention of the concussion, but the awareness and the education. Yeah, information might be the best, the most important thing, do you think, especially for young people to kind of understand what the challenges are? Well, and it's just not football players, it's all sports, and it's not just boys, it's girls and boys. And, and it's okay for them to uh, know that, that uh, they may have a concussion and what to do about it and how to rest and get better. That's the big thing, is to get better after you've had that first concussion. Do you, re, do you recruited to do this, or is this something you felt like you wanted to be a part of and step for, well, forward? Well, it's kind of a combination of things. Uh, I have four children. My youngest is still in high school. She's a volleyball player. And I'm heading right back to Sisters, Oregon, to our school district and making sure that they sign up for this program because it's important. Uh, it's important for all the kids and it's important down the line for all these kids too. And all these football players that came through today, did you talk a little bit to them about just taking a minute to understand what this is about? Well, they're aware. Their coaches have done a good job. They've taken the test, the, uh, the baseline test. So uh, they're, uh, they're pretty heads up on this whole program. And, and the more that we can get the word out, because Dix is willing to uh, back this program throughout the country. It's just not here in Oregon. It's around the entire nation.